Okay, today I'm going to show you the switch statement. Now, when I first learned PHP a while ago, people told me the switch statement was like the if statement and could do exactly the same thing as the if statement. So, I knew the if statement, so I was too lazy to learn the switch statement. And then, like a couple of years later, I learned the switch statement. So, about like a few years ago, I learned the switch statement and I just realized and we know to do the same exact thing, it's so much easier to do. It's so much like less typing. So how it starts is switch. Actually first we're gonna create a variable, what we're gonna So we're gonna make it eight and we're gonna make it five. Actually, just gonna put my actual eight. So then what we're gonna do is we just type in switch. And this autocomplete does most of the work for us. So we're going to put age over here and it's already here. I think I already put it. And then what we're going to do, case. And then we're going to put the value. So if age equals 1, it will then echo you are a big fat liar break and then copy this since we're too lazy to type it again just keep on copying and if it's two you are still a big fat liar if it's 13 you are not lying and then we're going to echo tell me your age so now the switch statement it tells we're going to check for this variable and check what it equals so it checks for this variable and if this variable equals a 1 then it will say you're a big fat liar and then the break says you don't have to do any of this line other lines of code you could just stop it over here it's the end and case 2 it says you're still a big fat liar stop it over here case 13 is you are not lying and break and if it's not all of this, any of this, so if it's not 13, if it's not 2, if it's not 1, we'll say, tell me your age. And we'll just make this a little more polite and say, please. And so now it say, should say, you are a big fat liar. I mean, wait, I put 13, so you are not lying, so it's right. And if I change this to 1, it should say, you are a big fat liar. And if I change this to 2, it should say, you're still a big fat liar. And if it's something else, it would say, tell me your age. Please. Okay. So, this is the switch statement. Now, I, as I told you before in the beginning, I didn't learn the switch statement. I just skipped it because I thought the if statements the just okay. But it is, it's not that there's anything wrong, it's just a lot faster. So let's do the same thing in the if statement just to see how much more typing it is. I have to put if age, and I have to put equals equals, and then I have to put one, and then I have to put color braces, and then I have to put echo you are a big fat liar. And then I have to put else if. See, I have to type in the whole word else if. And then I have to put. I'm just going to be lazy, but normally. H2, then I have to put the curl basis. And then I have to put. Uh, your, uh, you are still a big fat liar. And then. 
I have to put else if to teen. And put you are not lying so you see I'm doing this slow on purpose because so you could actually see that it's a lot more typing and then not to put else and then wait let me see how much time I have okay so then I have to put echo tell me your age please so this is a lot more typing. Even though this may seem like a lot more, it's a really a lot less. So, I just think the switch statement is easier now. But, like, if you want, you could use the switch statement. If you still like the if statement, use it. Use whichever statement you want. So, I'm just showing you this so you have more than one option. Okay? So. Hopefully this is helpful and you should start using the if statement if you have something like this just to make it a little easier but if you don't want it not focusing you. You still could use the if statements since that was the one you learned first.